Hi guys, so this weekend I'm at Brooke's house and I'm staying here instead of staying at the den before we move in and we move in tomorrow so that's super exciting and I'm helping her pack. Well not really, she's just there. That's good. Yeah, she has lots of clothes. Just started. Yeah, she's tall as Mariko. And yeah, we'll see if she actually brings a lot. She's cut down on a lot actually. So that's surprising. I gotta pick one of them. Yeah. Look. What color looks better on you? Well, blue apparently brings out my eyes. Yeah. So. <laughs> it does. I don't know. But then, like, brown is good for fall, so that's a problem. And this side. But if I fold them up really, really flat, they'll just be like the same thing as bringing one of them. Okay. Okay, Brooke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And she's finally finished. Yes! <laughs> Lots of stuff. Hi guys! So today is move-in day for us. And it's very exciting. Brooke has most of her stuff like put in her car. And then we'll head off. And I'll take you guys around while we move in. It should be exciting. So we actually haven't seen Brooke's car yet. Full of all her stuff. So we're gonna go look at that right now. We're gonna see how actually packed it is because we still haven't finished. There's still stuff to be put in there. Wait, I still have your black thing. What your, black thing? Your oh my gosh, <laughs> the black um the suitcase thing. Black duffel bag. So we're about ready to leave, and her car is completely packed with a bunch of stuff. But that's okay. It'll be okay. So we're finally in our dorm room hall, and we are on the fourth floor. So, this is very nice. We have to walk up four flights of stairs every single time. Yeah, so we're just going to go to our room right now and like rearrange it first, and then bring all of her stuff. Here's our before. Oh, we got to take pictures again. Let's take pictures. So, most of... Most of Brooke stuff is there. Just coming in with another ah. thing. But yeah, it's so crazy because we're on the fourth floor and there's no elevator. So we have to go up every single like flight of stairs. It gets really tiring after a while. And our room isn't the closest to the stairs either. It's pretty far. So we brought most of our stuff in, or all of our stuff in, and now we have to put it all together. So there's still a lot to do. But at least we don't have to go back up and down the stairs with stuff. So it's okay. So right now we're just like organizing a bunch of stuff. Like we have most of our stuff put away. And we just have to organize all this stuff. But I mean, our room's pretty nice. This is like my side. That's Brooke's side. Her desk, our fridge with food, my desk, her wardrobe, my wardrobe. But I'm gonna go take you around real quick to go see other people's. I'll be right back. So this is so Rachel and Delaney's room, and it's so cute. <laughs> do you like you our tapestries? Oh my yes. god, cool. Look, it took, do you know how hard it was to get that one all the way up there? Sure. Bro, we oh, needed yeah. you. Oh my gosh, why didn't you ask me? Oh, so yeah. guys, I know I'm not re, but I'm gonna do as best as I can. This is our dorm room, and this is my roommate, Cody. I'm Cassandra. <laughs> Hi! And look at our dorm. It's bed. quite cute. This is Cody's bed. It's my and bed. it's really adorable. Very floral. I like your, yeah, I like these sheets. Mine They're really cute. Person, really I really them. like them. No, these are adorable. <laughs> and then this is her half of the room. She has a lifetime supply of drinks. And all her shoes are in a mountain under her bed. <laughs> this is my side of the room. And. I put up pictures of my friends, but I forgot to print out pictures of my family. I'm the worst. And then that's my bed. And then underneath, I finally managed to organize all my clothes. So yeah. Re, you suck. So we're outside walking, and we just got some food. And we went to this place called um, Sweet Greens. And it looks like this. I got a harvest bowl and then Brooke got a salad. Yeah, and now we're waiting for people at Chipotle. Yeah, right now I'm really mad at Chipotle because they had everything that I didn't want. Like first, okay, so you go up and we asked for bowls. We're like, oh, we don't have bowls. Like how the hell do they run out of bowls? And then, it's a bowl. Like, whatever. 
and then they don't have brown rice and they're like, like who doesn't have, have brown to, rice what? Like, you'll have to wait 10 minutes and I'm like no so give me white rice so they give me white rice which is completely unseasoned like there's nothing on this white rice and I'm mad so then I keep going down and they have no guac and I'm like you what? can't have no, no guac like at Chipotle. That doesn't make any sense because that's what. That is like, unforgivable. That's yeah. that, that is unforgivable. <laughs> Chipotle, fix your shit. Wait a for like a half hour. hour. Yeah. I call that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Ray, are you are you recording this? Yeah. 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 They're like, you can bring it back and we'll record it. We're gonna be showing this. Show them what what happened to me. As I go, there's nothing left. Right. Oh, thanks. Rachel, you believe it. It's too lazy to go and put that down. She's just gonna drop it and we're on the fourth floor. Ready? Is it? No, that's like perfect. Don't move it. Don't do it. Why would you just do this? I'm just drop it from here. No. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> you do it. This is rude. It's really special. I'm excited. It's really <laughs> special. But are you living alone too? Uh, for right now, yeah. Are you and Chris gonna make out? That's his name, Chris. Oh no, I thought your roommate was here. Oh, yeah, she was. Where is she? She was. What's it called? Which one's your room? It's so yeah. dark. This is mine. This is hey, so nice. Like, uh, yeah, I told you guys. I feel like he needs to own a horse. <laughs> That's what he does. Oh, he 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 goes, wait, he goes to horse. But he needs to own he doesn't bet a horse. Bet. Yeah, so he goes to horse races, but he doesn't bet on them. He does not bet. <laughs> Maybe his best friend's a jockey. <laughs> <laughs> like a little guy. <laughs> it's a Prius. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. A baby blue Prius. A baby blue Prius. <laughs> What TV does he watch? What shows does he watch? Like Gossip Girl? Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> Real Housewives. Yes. <laughs> what he, he watches HGTV. Yeah, 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 yeah. He watches Million Dollar Listing on HGTV. <laughs> I, I, I Definitely. He needs a yes. order that he's very passionate about, but he doesn't, like, he, like, brings totally it up. Like, <laughs> it's irrelevant. He yeah. is, um, the chairperson for the ALS Water Bucket Challenge. <laughs> 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 Part of that. Yeah, yeah. He started at the ALS water bucket challenge. <laughs> that, that's like, uh, that's really hardcore. He needs to but be like, famous for something like radical for men. He needs to be passionate about something irrelevant. And he's sad. Asthma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I finally got on top of my bed. It was very difficult because it's almost as tall as me. But that should be it for today. It was very tiring going up and down those stairs. But um, tomorrow we have our first practice with all the coaches, so that's exciting. And we're having a lot of fun here. So yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye.